Good morning, everybody. I am in such a big rush right now. It is currently, can you see that? 6.20 in the morning. I need to be at work, hopefully by seven. I have a call today at 7.30 in the morning, super early. I have like maybe five minutes and then I seriously need to leave. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be cutting it too close. I have three calls that I booked that are running today, so it's going to be a busy day. I have a couple other meetings. I'm feeling tired, but I don't have time to stop and get a coffee or make one, so I might just bring an Alani new and call it a day. I work closer to East Coast hours because a lot of, or actually all of my accounts are on the East Coast or just like a different time zone than Pacific, so I usually start my days pretty early, but it's just harder when I have to go into the office versus whipping out my um, versus whipping out my laptop and then just getting to work. My hair is kind of dirty, but I don't have time to curl it or anything, so that's always great. Okay, and then for perfume, we're going to go in with some Jo Malone. This is the Wild Bluebell. It smells very sophisticated. I think mine is broken, though. Which is annoying because she was not cheap. Okay, I've made it to work. It is... 7.05, so we're doing pretty good on time. I've had a pretty good month in terms of hitting my quota. I'm, like, almost there, so... Just checking in really quickly. It is currently nine in the morning. I've had such a busy day. I even booked a meeting just now, so I'm really happy about that. It's happening on Friday. Amazing. I microwaved a burrito, frozen burrito, and I am about to jump in a meeting right now. Cold call practice. Not my favorite thing, but it is what it is. <laughs> so we're gonna do that right now, and I will talk to you guys in a minute, but so far it's a really good day. I have a direct integration with them where once that intent is shown and pushed into Salesforce, uh, we could go ahead and match that to the correct account of where it's coming from and then route it to the appropriate rep. I bought this viral um, light and I love it. I had another one, I'll show you guys really quickly. But this one was a little expensive. It was like $30 or something. But I love it. And you can adjust this. And it's just perfect, especially for taking photos. I'm obsessed. The clip comes off, too, if you need to travel with it. Side note, I've been wanting to do a what's in my bag video. But honestly, I'm scared to go through my bag. It's looking really atrocious right now. This is the other light that I was talking about. It's like $13 on Amazon, so much more affordable but the battery kind of sucks on it and it's not as strong as this guy. Oh, look, see, it's dead. <laughs> but I mean, it's doable if you don't want to spend a lot, a lot of money on a ring light. It is currently 10.56. I have a third meeting of the day at 11 and I am looking forward to it because it's one that I've been trying to get for a while and I think it's just awesome when you've been reaching out to a company for so long and then finally somebody responds to your outreach. I just think it's super satisfying. My last meeting of the day is internally, but it's at 3 to 3.15, so I think I'm gonna leave directly after that because I've been here since 7 in the morning and <laughs> your girl is tired. But it's been a good day. We're grinding away. I might try to get lunch. I usually try to get lunch around 11 to beat the lunch um, traffic, but... I might have to go a little later today. Just finished that call and it went really well. Um, I am going to go to lunch with my coworkers at 12. Lunch is comped by my job, so we love to see it, um, but let's go. Cheers. It's currently 2.50. I have my last meeting of the day at three and my brain is pretty fried right now so you know what we're gonna do in the next 10 minutes we're gonna do a little what's in my bag this is the work tote from base it is ginormous it is like half the size of me um 
I would only recommend it for people that have a lot to carry. If you don't have a lot to carry, it's not the bag for you. They do have a smaller one. I love the bag though. I feel like it just has everything. Sorry, I'm trying to connect my computer to Wi-Fi. Okay, I'm gonna do this super quick. There's like a lot of junk in here that I don't wanna get into. Right off the bat, we've got my little purse. I'm not self-explanatory. A whiteboard, because sometimes I make videos and I like to write things on a whiteboard. Charger, headphones, phone charger. I'm really hoping none of my coworkers walk by here because I will be embarrassed. In the bag, there's a little bag and it can actually clip into the tote. And I've just got a lot of junk. I have lots of napkins, <laughs> Altoids, Cheez-Its, some Theraflu now, snacks, of course, they're kind of squished. Another one. Sunglasses. A very squished Pop Tart. <laughs> A very squished brownie. Oh, love these. Um, what is this? Mango and banana fruit puree. Of course, we've got the Nun, is that how you pronounce it? Nun Hydration, Noon Hydration, Immunity. I like to take that when I think I'm getting sick. And the rest is like trash, so we're not gonna continue looking into that, but you get the point. It's It's got a lot of different things in there. Next, we've got a body spray. Oh, here's the cap, of course. Don't wanna stink or anything. Bondi's ball when she comes to work with me. Bondi's treats. These are beef tripe treats. Gotta have Lysol wipes because sometimes the surfaces are really dirty. You just never know. Got a couple pens. I'm not about to take them out. And that's pretty much everything. It's empty. That's what I carry in my bag in case you were curious. And of course I have my laptop. I really like that it has a laptop sleeve to protect the bag. I really recommend this bag. I've been using it since I started my job. So I've had it for like nine months now. Very sturdy, high quality. It also can hook onto your luggage. So I take it when I go on work trips. It's perfect. This is not sponsored, but I really wish it was. So. Shay Mitchell, if you're watching this, please sponsor me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and include the clips from the revenue kickoff that we had in January. I know it was a while ago, but hope you enjoy. So I thought that breakfast started at 6, but it actually started at 6.30 and I got there at like 6.20 so I was like, I'll just wait here until they open. Shouldn't have done that. So I'm sitting there and I see one of my coworkers come out of the gym and she like just ran on the treadmill for the last hour and here I am thinking oh my gosh I'm gonna go downstairs not see anybody that was wrong so I wasted time waiting for my food even though there's gonna be food at work I didn't really eat a lot last night and I was just so hungry I wanted to eat um and then she's like oh I want to get Starbucks do you want to come I'm gonna try to be ready by 7.20 to leave, get Starbucks, and then head to the office. I don't think I'm gonna be ready by 7.20. It's currently 6.52, I wanted to curl my hair. How is it that I wake up at five 
and somehow I'm not even gonna be ready on time. Last night I was laying here before bed and I started thinking about my birthday plans because I'm gonna be 25 this year, which is kind of scary, actually really scary. My best friend Veronica just turned 25 on Sunday and it was just a very surreal moment because like, yikes. <laughs> But it was really fun celebrating her birthday. We did like a mimosa brunch thing at her house, so that was cool. Um, but anyways, for my birthday, I don't want to do anything crazy because I had like a whole party last year. That was a lot. That was a lot. And I just, I'm not in the mood. But I'm also, I'm also extra. So I would really like to go to um, Ensenada or something and like at a hotel on the beach. I did not sleep good last night. I don't know why. Like, I'm so happy to be here. I love solo things and I love, like, the idea of a business trip. Like, that's always been so appealing to me. I love it. I love being here. I'm really grateful for the opportunity and that my company is flying me out and paying for me to stay here and all that stuff. I don't know why I couldn't sleep. Maybe I was just so excited. I feel like whenever I'm really excited, or anxious or whatever I cannot sleep I do not like to sleep I just want it to be the next day I wake up so early I cannot sleep it's very hard for me to sleep in on the weekends although I wish I could because I could use that extra sleep it's just very hard for me I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to vlog I'll probably just get clips here and there we're gonna be spending the day at the headquarters we're gonna be doing some sales workshops and then we're gonna have dinner at the Levi's Stadium, so that will be very fun. We're gonna do like an award ceremony there. I will try to get some clips. I just don't think I'll be doing full on vlogging because I gotta be paying attention today. I need to be on my A game today, so. Here is the final look. We are actually decently on time. It's 7.25. I'm gonna order my Starbucks right now. And my manager was texting the group chat saying that the hotel breakfast was going to be better and like more nourishing than the office breakfast. So I'm kind of glad that I grabbed some food at 630. <laughs> um, the shirt is from Abercrombie. They are literally making a comeback. I love it. The jeans are also from Abercrombie. These boots are from Target. Come through Target. And then this bag is from Portland Leather Company, I believe. So, that is the fit. We're gonna go grab some Starbucks. Okay, I'm gonna do a voiceover because I didn't get that many clips, but after a day of workshops, we went to Levi's Stadium and we first um, did awards, so different like sales awards and customer service, things like that. And then for dinner, they had a ramen bar, which was fire. Look at that. And then we had unlimited wine and drinks. This is me super happy. Maybe had a couple too many glasses of wine. Um, and one of my nice co-workers is driving me to the karaoke bar that we went to after. And then these are some of my co-workers. We just finished the night at karaoke. Um, my coworkers love karaoke, but that was the night, and the next day we had more workshops. 